Alright, so we're going to take our lead end, we're going to wrap it around our hand three times, keeping each loop separate. We're going to take our middle loop and feed it under our top loop. We're going to take that loop, put it over both of them, and then the same loop is going to go under both of them. Now we're going to take, keep this loop separate from the others, take our hand out, and then pull on the loop and the lead cords. And that, the alpine butterfly knot. Compass can be difficult at times, but with our documentary, it will hopefully help you understand how to read a compass right. <laughs> you have to do when finding a bearing is place the compass flat in the palm of your head or on a level table, making sure the direction of travel arrow is pointing the way you are traveling. Traveling over to this building, this is how you hold the compass. Then you have to move the orienting arrow so that it is pointing the same way as the magnetic arrow. This is the orienteering arrow and this is the magnetic arrow. And you've got to put it like that so you get the bearing. That's the bearing. Where do we have to point to? Don't. Lastly, look at the compass housing at degree dial where it meets the index line and the number there is the bearing. This is the compass housing with degree dial and this is the index line. This is the bearing you get. Direction of travel. First, you have to once again place the compass flat on your hand or the level table. Once again, flat on your hand. Then make sure you line the bearing and the index line up and turn the compass until the magnetic needle is in the orienting arrow. This is the bearing, this is the index line, and then you turn the compass until the magnetic needle is in the orienteering arrow. The way the index line is facing is the way you'll travel. Thank, Thank you, you for watching our compass video. Go!